Hey guys, welcome back to my home kitchen. I am making a quick pulled pork today. So I'm gonna use just three simple ingredients today. I've got a shoulder roast. This one happens to be bone in, but if you get a, a boneless one, that's fine. The bone gives it a little extra flavor. So I like to use the bone in. Um, Famous Dave's Rib Rub, and oh my gosh, it's fantastic. And then the other thing I'm gonna use is some apple cider. This one happens to be a honey crisp apple cider. The only thing that you really do to this is give a nice generous coating of this rib rub. I like to pat it in so that it adheres to the pork. Make sure you cover it on all sides. Put it nice and pat it in so that it adheres well. You can flip it. Oh, you want to pat this dry. So open it up. You can rinse it if you like. Pat it dry with some paper towel. Yes, it's messy. It makes a huge, massive mess. Once I get the one side covered, get it transported into my crock pot, and then I go ahead and put more of the seasoning on there generously season this. You're gonna have a lot of meat. I use about a half a bottle per recipe. Okay, so once I have my pork in the crock pot, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this apple cider down on the side. I don't wanna get it on my pork. And I just wanna put in a tiny bit. That's maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe quarter to a half a cup of liquid. Not a whole lot. If I find that it's drying out and it needs more, I can add more later. But this meat is gonna release a lot of juice. That's it, guys. That's the recipe. Put the lid on it. Cook it on high for about eight hours. Uh, you can do low for longer. And once this thing falls apart, when you stick a fork in it, it's done. I'll come back later and show you what it looks like. Hey guys, just got about two and a half hours left on the clock here. And here's what it's looking like. I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and flip this over and get the other side just underneath the liquid and down closer to the heat. Probably not necessary, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll give it a couple more hours and see what that looks like. Hour left of my eight hours. And uh, I don't know, I think it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna just check it here. I want this meat to just fall apart and kind of looking like maybe it's gonna do that. Oh yeah, see how that just breaks apart? This just goes right down into it. You can twist it. Ugh. Let me see if I can. I think it's a little, has a little bit longer to go. It's not, uh, not quite done in the middle. I'm just gonna let that go for a little bit longer, maybe another half hour, 45 minutes or so, and then we'll come back and check it. But it is smelling good in here. Okay guys, I'm taking this Yummy pork out. Ryan can't hardly wait. It smells so good in here. Is this a good part or a bad part? This is the good part. Okay. I'm taking this out and uh, I'm just taking it out in chunks. And then what I'll do is kind of clean it up a little bit, take all this fat off and put it to the side. Ryan says it's the best part. He's doing his commentary from the couch. And uh, yeah, you can see all the liquid that was left in here. The, the roast, I only put in like a quarter to a half cup of apple cider. And I'd say there's a good two cups of liquid in here. So all of that came out of the pork. I get it pulled. I just take these two forks and then I'll take the fat off the side here. And then I just pull it apart and you can see how easily it comes apart. And then you can take that off, put that in a bowl and that's good to go. Now there's a few different things that I like to make with this. Of course, we'll have pulled pork sandwiches for dinner tonight. 
with or without barbecue sauce. The meat is really flavorful with that Famous Dave's rub on it. And of course the apple cider that I put in there. Um, but you can put a little bit of barbecue sauce on here if you want. You can just eat it with a knife and fork. You can put it on a sandwich. We like to serve it with um, barbecue sauce and a little bit of coleslaw. And I just buy the coleslaw mix and T. Marzetti coleslaw. A little bit of that in with my slaw, let it sit for a little bit. Pile that on top of a big stack of pulled pork and you've got good eating. Some other things that I like to do with it is pulled pork tacos. I have street taco shells. They're little tiny ones about this big. That's delicious with some of this on there and some cilantro and onion, a little squeeze of lime and your favorite hot sauce or taco sauce. Or you could put barbecue sauce on there if you wanted to and slaw and have a southern style pulled pork taco. Um, and then pulled pork nachos. We love pulled pork nachos. We got hooked on those, of course, in Brown County at um, Big Woods Brewing Company. We love pulled pork nachos there. Super easy to replicate that. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch of other things. Why don't you share with me what you guys like to do with pulled pork? I'd love to hear what you do. But right now, my husband's hungry. I'm going to feed him. Okay, guys. I'll talk to you later. Eat well, travel often.